and gentlemen, once again, welcome into the Lion's Den, the official source for UCCS Sports. I'm your host of the day, M to the J, that is MJ Arjumande, and I am broadcasting live inside the Roar Office on the beautiful campus of the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, and I am joined, as always, by my partner in crime, Martin, I'd rather be in Honolulu, Hawaii, Hines. That is that would that is an accurate description. I would love to be on the beaches right now. Well, it's spring break, man. Of course you want to be on the beaches, as do I. But we are here in the confines of the Mountain Lion Studios. And other than Honolulu, Hawaii, there's nowhere else I'd rather be, Martin, than right here with you for the Lion's Den. That's right. The, the home of Barack Obama, Honolulu, or at least Hawaii is. But... Uh, I am MJ a little, you know, I'm a little bitter because it's spring break. We just got through, you know, going through a weekend where it was 20 degrees, snowing. And, and it didn't look like spring. Let me tell you, that's all fine and good if you live somewhere hot and you want to get away for spring break and go hit the slopes and all that. But but we live here all the time, and, and quite frankly, I'm ready for springtime, and I'm ready to get some warmer temperatures and get out and do stuff. Well, it's Tuesday, Martin. You can do stuff because the sun is out today. It's not snowing. It's we a are, beautiful day in Colorado we, Springs. I'll, I'll tell you what. That is the one saving grace about it. It's not like we're in Michigan or, or Wisconsin. They're getting hammered. Well, they get hammered, but the you know here we have a high altitude. We're at, at a high altitude. It melts quick. Summer, the sun comes out and it melts everything, That's and so right. we're good to go. You we're know? good to go. So you can go outside and do stuff but you got to wait about 55 more minutes till we're done with our show here yes for the spring break edition of the lions the spring break edition where anything anything can happen that's right martin so i started off the show by saying that we are the official source for uccs sports martin what does that mean to you when i say that well it means to me mj uh, what does it mean to you? It what it that sounds so, like such an introspective question. So philosophical. Yes, like what I, does it mean mm, to you? Because mm, it means different things to different, different people. That's yeah. Right. So to so you, my subjective Martin viewpoint, Honolulu, Hawaii, Hines. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say that uh, the the official source means that we uh, we we are official. We get official things. Like we get, like, like guests. We get guests. Like who do we got today? Uh, well, I'll tell we you. We got nobody. Yeah, you know what? I'm yeah. gonna call out the the club hockey team hey, for UCCS. Whoa. They were supposed to be on our show today, but they're not. No, they're not. That's so right. they That's... stood us up. And I gotta say, MJ. By the way, of all the Im- invitations that we've put out there for our guests, I think this is the first time we've ever been stood up. Well, they sounded really excited about it last week when I talked to them. I think spring break, you know, maybe they just didn't plan accordingly, yeah. but who knows? That's all right, Martin. It's you and me today. We don't need. But a it's guest. a lion's den. You don't, don't stand up the lion's den. We don't den. need a stinking guest. You know what? They're not going to get the lion's den bump though. They're probably going to get the they're, reverse bump. You know? Yeah, they're going to go on a losing streak now. I don't wish that upon any. We don't. Team we're not here. trying to curse them. That's just the way it goes. That's just how it is. Yeah. Uh, the, They'll come back. That's all right. It's yeah. spring break. We don't we, need them. If we, if we let them back on, and let me tell you, we don't have a whole lot of spots open. You know what I mean? Like shows, we, we actually have more guests that we could have on than we actually have spots or shows the rest of this semester. That's true, Martin. The semester <laughs> is winding down. And I we mean, don't have we, a have lot to, of shows we actually have to be picky about who we want on. Do we have somebody from this sport? You know, and we're not just getting just anybody. In fact, I'm not going to, you know, tout certain things or predict, but we've reached out to some pretty high profile guests that may or may not be on. <laughs> well, we've already had some pretty high profile guests, if you ask me. We have, but I'm saying. I mean, right now in the I'm studio saying, is Martin. I want to be in Honolulu, Hawaii. Hi. I, I mean, it doesn't I, get any bigger than that. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not dropping any names here, Apollo Ono. But uh, who knows? We may have somebody like that on the show. And you're right, MJ. We've already had big, important guests. You know, we've we've we have had people All right. All like right. the chancellor. The chancellor Let, has let's, been on. Let's get off of our soapboxes here. Okay. And, uh, so yeah. let's go. Let's let's can digress I, a can little. I, can I stick? 
can I stick this donut in my mouth? I mean, you know? now's probably not the best of times to be eating donuts, um, but you know, whatever. It's uh, spring break. Can we just be relaxed? A eat little donuts? Bit? You want to eat donuts because it's spring break? On the air. That's not that's not justified here. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we got a full show still to cover today because right now the golf team in Grand Canyon. That's mm-hmm. how they do spring break. Sunny Arizona. Yeah, that's how they do things. Lucky. They are lucky, Martin, because right now they get to be in Grand Canyon, and we're stuck here in this in the in the confines of the Mountain Lion Studio. But that's all right because you know I've said this many a times. If there's any team I would rather be a part of here at UCCS, it's the golf team because all of these luxurious trips they get to go on. I mean, that's high profile stuff. You done eating donuts over there? Yes, he turned my mic off. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again too. All I hear is arf, arf, arf. <laughs> Sorry. So, so we yeah we got stuff to cover, Martin, because softball's in action too, softball. as you Ooh. know. And there hasn't been a day of softball where the Mountain Lions have put up more runs. I mean, they, this last weekend they just went off. They had a triple header against it the Mexico even, Highlands. I and think wow. They, I think they only trailed for like one inning or a half an inning. After that, they were just absolutely dominant. I mean, it was not even close. And uh, you would hope that they'll continue continue that dominance the rest of the the season but they've got some tough tough teams well they got a big test ahead of them this weekend as they, they had to uh, instead of grand canyon they go to grand junction you see the difference there grand between, canyon yeah. grand junction i mean one's a lot grander than the other and all I, yeah and i've never been to grand junction but I not can, as grand yeah. as the canyon i don't think so no not even close they're not i don't even know what's in grand junction i mean aside from truth. well colorado mesa is in grand junction mesa, yeah. aside from having grand in their names they're so far apart they don't have anything really yeah. in common so, but that's that's where they're going to Grand Junction, Colorado, Grand Junction. this weekend on Friday and Saturday, right before Easter. Yes, Easter. Gosh, I forgot Easter's coming up. Easter is coming up, Martin. Easter is in less than a week. Yeah, you know my I I have two uh, two kids and they've gotten older here, and so like that's not as uh, at the forefront of my mind any as much anymore. Uh, you know, when when you have young kids, you, you get. Um, and, you know, Easter Easter baskets and stuff like that and hide eggs and, you know, I mean. I so want an Easter basket. You want one? Yeah. Okay. You don't? Who doesn't well, No, want? I mean, I, yeah. I, I would, want an Easter basket. I would like a giant life-size Easter basket. Like as big as I am? Like a basket I can I, get inside I mean of? a basket like you could put goodies in there for me like, you know, laptops and cars and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. What's behind What's behind this chair? Oh, it's a laptop. The Easter Bunny must have played the Powerball over the weekend, huh? That Powerball would be nice. Yeah. High. How about Easter Bunny leave some, uh, some lottery tickets? In my basket, That'd you know? Be nice That'd too. be sweet. I'd rather have the laptop. I'd better uh, open up one of those plastic eggs. Oh, what's this? A lottery ticket. Yeah, screw you know? the Cadbury. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't need jelly beans. I need <laughs> money. I need cash. That's right. That's right, Martin. Well, we got to talk about all that. Martin, what do you got planned for Easter before we get to all that? Easter. Easter. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Come Sunday. On. Sunday. Um, Sunday. This upcoming Sunday. I don't know. I don't I don't really have anything, I think. I may be in Dallas, I may not be in Dallas. Wow, that's I may be on my way back from Dallas. I don't know. So I okay. might take a quick trip to go see the fam or something like that. I'm not sure. Gotcha. Yeah. But uh, you know, I, I threw a teaser out there on Twitter and Facebook about this last weekend. What'd you and think? I think our listeners would like to know. The millions and millions yes. of listening Let's lions. Let's not keep them in suspense, although we may lose the listeners after this. But what, what'd what you do? Well, I was I, I put on there to find out. People have to tune in to find out what MJ got snipped and clipped oh, this past weekend. Oh. I don't know. You're, I'm sure your, your, uh, your significant other would be interested in knowing what you Her- got snipped and clipped because it may affect... It may affect uh, you, potentially your relationship. Maybe not. Well, first of all, Sam. I didn't get anything clipped and snipped myself, but <laughs> I did. I was going to have my cat declawed and deballed. Yeah, and that's a that's a double whammy right there. That's I got to tell you, you told all me, of his manhood at yeah, once. I mean, you you told me that, and I thought, man, one's bad enough, but to do two things to to him, that's. That's tough, man. That's a tough weekend. Well, but you couldn't do it, could you? 
I mean, you couldn't bring yourself to do both. I, I didn't. I chickened out of one. I did have him deballed, but I let him keep his claws. Yeah, good man. For now, anyways. He's young, and I figured would give him a chance to develop. I mean, because you're right. How much can you take away from one I one know. being at Imagine. one time? I imagine. I mean, all you have to do is really think about being married, and you can get a sense of what it's like to be <laughs> deballed and declawed. All at once. That's right. When you say I do. <laughs> yeah, when you say I do, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's like going to the vet. Yeah, well, I yeah. got to tell you, he's got this cone on his head, too, and I feel kind of oh. bad. I feel really bad because he's bumping into everything. But I got to say, it's kind of funny, too. I mean, because he, he just doesn't know where he's at. He doesn't so, know what he's doing. And he's on pain medication, so he's a little whoa. loopy. I mean, Can so, I get some of that? Well, <laughs> I mean, there's not enough to go around Yeah, that, that far. So what is, what's the cone for? So he doesn't reach down there and say, what the heck? Yeah. Where'd it go? <laughs> yeah. What happened? That's right. It, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. in about a week or so, he'll look down and they'll just be gone. So. And they'll be like, oh, sad day. Yeah. But, you know, what are you going to do? I do that sometimes. I look down there. Where did where it go? Oh, well. All right. Let's move forward here. And uh, Martin, a few moments ago, uh, you said that that could be potentially dangerous for your relationship to get things snipped and clipped. And... Yes. It's not good to get snipped and clipped. But no, I'll, I'll not... tell you what. You want to hear a great segue? But this weekend, the UCCS softball is going to hope to snip and clip the Colorado Mesa Mavericks. Mavericks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> and, Mark, we're going to talk all about that here on the Lions Den in just a few minutes. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, there's many other things to talk about as well. Sure, we've got weird news if we have to. We can always go to that. Well, anytime I talk to you about news, it seems to be weird news. I like weird news. You are weird news. I, I am weird, and I like the news. So, there And I'll go. bring you the news, and because I have a take on it, it'll be weird. There you go. So what what do you got planned there, buddy? I, I don't know where we're going here. Well, we're going to talk golf. Okay. Because they're in action right now yes. in, in Grand Canyon. And we're going to talk softball because they're going to Grand Junction. And they just hosted a triple header. And then we got to talk a little bit of track and field. Okay. We got UCCS stuff before we get to this weird news stuff, Martin. Yes, we'll take care of business here. Yeah, we always do. So we're gonna cut the break so Martin can eat his donuts, and then when we get sweet. yeah, when we get back, they are pretty sweet. They're sugary too. When we get back from break, we're gonna talk UCCS golf right here on the Lions Den. Before we go though, Martin, we've never had a birthday here on the Lions Den. So before we move forward, I just want to say happy birthday to my beautiful ex girlfriend's beautiful daughter, Cheyenne. Nicole Rogers. Happy birthday. Well, my brain hurt on that one. There's a lot going on there, but happy birthday. We've never had a birthday while we've been on the show, so. Okay, good. Happy birthday, yeah. Yeah, you're shout so out. thoughtful. Yeah, shout out. All yeah, right. we could do that. Yeah, the Lion's Den extends its official happy birthday to I'm not uh, whoever you said that's the ex-girlfriend's brother's sister's mother. Yeah. Daughter. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. So happy birthday. And uh, we're going to get to some UCCS sports when we get back right here on the Lions Den. Grinding harder than the X Games. Fame is just an option, but a must that I get paid. Diamonds on the bricks, making fists up on the grain. Got a pocket full of cheddar, naked bitches giving brain. I'm a home run hitter, always swinging for the fences. Steady stacking my paper and counting on my blessings. This is much my life as it is my investment. Get thanks to the Lord, peace to all the homies. Let's keep my eyes wide open for the game. I got the token, keep my mind on the game. Plan and never lose focus. Keep myself around. I got a K 
Teddy up on the chest cause I'm the king of all kings. You're the best of the best with a swag so good. Join the UCCS Christian Challenge Group as they go to the Sky Sox game April 5th. Tickets will only be $5. Contact the UCCS Christian Challenge Group by visiting their website at www.challengeuccs.com or email them at challengeuccs at gmail.com. Hey, check out the handball tournament coming up at the UCCS Rec Center on March 14th at 7 p.m. This is a no-cost free event. Just visit the Rec Center's website, get yourself signed up, and get it over there for a great time. Hey guys, Alex here. If you liked what you're listening to here on UCCS Radio, tune in to Just Great Music. That's my show. It's on at 6 p.m. on Mondays. And if you missed that, the rebroadcast is 6 p.m. on Saturdays. So tune in for the best music that has ever existed, pretty much a little bit of everything, here at radio.uccs.edu. This is Johnny Keene, head coach for the UCCS men's soccer team, and you're tuned in to The Lion's Den, the official source for UCCS sports. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, you're tuned in to The Lion's Den, the official source for UCCS Sports. Martin, as I mentioned, the golf team in action as we speak. They started today for the final round at the Grand Canyon Thunderbird Invitational near Phoenix, Arizona today at 6.30 a.m. What were you doing at 6.30 a.m.? Were you playing golf? Were you teeing off? No. I, no. I can't imagine This guy's just functioning. having breakfast right now. I know. And these guys, these guys are out there whacking golf balls so maybe i don't want to be a part of the golf team i keep saying i want to go to all these places but i don't want to get up and be on the greens at 6 30 a.m that's a bit early yeah my roommate does stuff like that man he goes snowboarding like today he left at like 6 a.m wow go snowboarding that's intense yeah i, I don't know but well, uh but the golf team does it and they're in action right now for the final round yesterday though a pretty good round for uccs at least for Spencer Beersdorf, who shot two strokes under par to tie for third after the first round. So that was a good job for him. And as a result, the Mountain Lions fifth out of sixteen teams. How about that, Martin? That's good. And they were playing that ain't at, bad. they were playing on at the uh, Wigwam. The Wigwam. The Wigwam. The Wigwam. Which is interesting to have a golf course called the Wigwam. You know? Yeah, but I hit. guess it's something to – I mean that's a common name I, I guess in Arizona for – I mean it's not surprising. No, it's not. But, you know, the Mountain Lions are doing well on the wigwam right now. The golf team is doing good and we well, we hope to good. have the golf coach on as a guest. Coach Trio, yeah, yeah. Because he's got them going. He does. And The uh, longest tenured coach here at UCCS. Yeah. And I got to tell you, I mean, I mean not that they really need – the, the bump? bump, but uh, Who you doesn't know, need I mean, the bump? The, everybody needs the bump. You know, yeah, but they're playing out of they're they're playing really well right now. Yeah, they're well, Martin, good. you talked about guests a little while ago and who we're reaching out to, and indeed, Coach Trujillo is one that we have reached out to, and we're going to try to get him on the show. The longest tenured coach at UCCS. Where we also met yesterday, Martin, if you recall, with Chrissy Elder, the the huh. newest yes, coach right. at UCCS. She said she wanted to come on the show as well. Except she didn't really have much of a voice. She said she not she at the must time. A little going, under the getting, weather. Yeah, getting over something. Yeah, so we're going to have her on the show soon too. Yeah, but you know, uh, I mean, the dean. Deaner, the Grand, Grand Deaner. Dean, he we was had on him the on. show. That's right, Martin. And, you know, of course. He's tied for 13. Well, that's right the now. bump. That's the long effect of the bump. It always, you know, no matter what happens, it always comes back and gets you eventually. The bump does. Because you're absolutely right, Martin. Right now, Grant Dean tied for 13th with a score of four strokes over par at 148. He shot for par on the 26 and 36 holes and was even in the second round. So great job to Grant Dean and the rest of the UCCS team. And how about Kevin Whitty, well, our he, shining lion from last that's week? That's right. The defending Armac Golfer of the Week. Currently, he's tied for 23rd with an overall score of 151. So, I mean, he's right in that thing, too. What, what I like is that this this uh, golf team's well-balanced. So you can have one week a uh, guy, he can play really well on, Witty, on the course. A couple weeks yeah. ago in Austin, Texas, yep. second in that. And then and then you've got you know other guys stepping up on the team, which is good. Um, and I think that's important. Like you, when you when you put together a team, whether it be in basketball or soccer or whatever it is, you know uh, you want 
You, you want don't to, want one person to, to lead just your team to dominate player, every time, yeah. right? Because when they have an off game, although, what do you do? Although I know for the men's track, like or for the cross country, Emilio Trujillo, right? Well, Emilio's no longer on the team. So, yeah, but I'm I just mean, saying he, he was he was a running fool. And, and I bet there. you the team does better now. Well, well they were pretty good well, yeah. with him too. Well. But I mean, they were all doing well. But uh, you're right; the, it's good. So it's. It's gr- it's great to see the different golfers, and I mean that just shows how deep and and how good this team is, and of course they're led by a great coach as well. Well, absolutely, and Coach Trujillo, and big news too, Martin, because there there are talks of a UCCS women's golf team being added for next year as well. And I think that'll that'll be great because we'll find I'm sure there are just tons of great golfers and. And, uh, you know, I think the people who they've looked to to, to lead that program as well, is gonna, it's going to be good too. Well, absolutely. Yeah. It's not bad. I mean, traditionally the golf team here at UCCS has always been been competitive to say yes. the least. They've been very good historically. So Well, and we also have that, uh, that uh, business golf program. The PGM. Yeah. 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 So that, that helps too. Absolutely. Because you have all the people who are interested in professional – uh, sports management and golf management, and they, they, they play. They're yep. active, and so they're great students, great players, and so they represent the team well, and they do well, and and that's it's a the, good mix. And that's the theme throughout all the sports for the university is that they're they're great athletes, but they're also you know great uh, students as well. Absolutely, cause and they're and they usually, and we've had we've documented we've had. Uh, athletes come on to the show who, and we've had the chancellor talk about it as well, and the athletic director Steve Kirkham talk about how they also work hard at uh, developing, you know, the athletes as people and giving back to the community. Well, because they are people, so well, it's I mean, important but, that they but, develop. But as I such. mean, well-rounded kind of, you know, giving back to the community, oh, great students. I see. Not just not just getting them in here. You know, just uh, it's not just, just about winning games. It, it that's exactly right. Well, I mean, because historically our teams haven't been that great, so it can't be just about winning games. <laughs> so we established the academic side of things first, and now the athletes are starting to come, and the teams are starting to turn around, and so. the facilities, and the, it's all. I mean, yeah, it's all coming it's together. All, I mean, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? And I mean, hey, something's got to happen. And then if you think about it, I mean, I know our SID Jared Verner. J Bone, J J Bone, he's all excited about the fact that even we're developing this part of the athletic department, the which, Lions Den, the Lions Den, and making a presence known here uh, through UCCS Radio. So, and the radio station is doing great things. So, in fact, uh, just a quick shout out: the the uh, uh, the office of uh, the OSA Student of Activities. And UCCS Radio are sponsoring a big concert uh, next week. Oh, we are. Week. Tell, tell the millions and millions of listening lines about that before we get yeah. to more UCCS sports. That's important stuff, yeah. too. Yeah, Nina Story. Nina Story will uh, be here. She's uh, like a pop soul artist, and uh, she's a pretty big name. She's done a lot of things. Uh, she's She's got a new album out and uh, a lot of new things. She's going to be here with a bunch of local acts. In fact, uh, one of the acts is... Uh, uh, local student here at UCCS. Oh yeah, and uh, the the concert's April second. They'll be on uh, from five thirty. They'll start at five thirty, and it'll go to uh, I think eight eight thirty. So and where is this? And it's going to be at uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, I don't know. I'm asking you. Clyde's. What, what it's going to be at Clyde's. Oh, yeah, it's going to be at, at Clyde's. The UC, right here on the UCCS That's campus. Right. So you can come out and get a you know enjoy the free concert. The kids will be back from so wait, the break. It's a, it's a concert. She's not going to tell us a story. No, Nina's story will be singing. She oh, won't be telling us okay. a story. She's going to uh, sing us a story. Yeah, she's a pop pop artist. Ah, uh, she's going to sing about Pepsi, pop soda. Yeah, Coca-Cola? she'll be doing that. She's. Maybe I, some root beer? Let me tell you, I've heard some of her music, and uh, you know, it's not my thing. Like, I mean, I'm not into the yeah, but the hip, Martin, I mean, the hip stuff. Right, I you're like, not in anything popular. Though. Yeah, I'm not in anything popular, so I wouldn't go based off my. But I will say that I thought her music is good. I thought, wow, she's that's really a, she's talented. Exciting. She's coming right here to Clyde. She is. Yes. In fact, uh, I mean, 
she's she's done a lot of big events. So she's the, for her for us to get her to come here to the campus is a big deal. So it's exciting stuff. Yeah. So for the millions and millions right. of listening lions coming back from spring break looking for things to do, that's one thing you can do. Well, it's the only concert uh, event that's going to be going on this spring. Usually, they uh, you know uh, they put on the OSA puts on something, but. Uh, they weren't going to do that, and UCCS Radio took the lead and got them on board, and so now we have one. So there you go. Got it. Yep. So, but I'm saying it's a it's a preview of things to come, both not only here for the Lions Den and all the great things that we'll be doing, you know, in in the year coming up, but uh, uh, next year, but also here at UCCS Radio, it's going to be a lot of great things. A lot of great things. Mm-hmm. And it starts right now with the rest of right this now. Lions Den episode. That's right. That's right, because right now the golf team's still in action, Martin. They've been playing this whole time. We've been talking. Yeah. They're doing stuff. They're playing golf out there in Grand Canyon. But the final round is not quite over yet, so we don't have complete results as of yet. But if we get those results before the show ends, then we'll get them to you as soon as we can. Yes. If not, then we know what we got next week, right? Mm Mm-hmm. That's right. But right now, the UCCS golf team's still in action. And you know who else was in action? Who? You know. Softball. Yeah. Martin is the, the resident expert here of softball. So when we talk about expertise in an area... There is no more of an expert for softball than Martin. I mean, Martin, you're doing a study on the softball team. Why don't you inform the millions and millions of listening lions out there about your study that you've been following? I'm sure they'll be excited. I mean, this is enthralling information. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is on the cusp of cutting-edge new research, Martin. Mm -hmm. So you got to let them in because you've been studying this team for over a year now. Over a full year now, you've been watching, you know, the majority of their practices – all of their home games, even travel with them occasionally on the road. So you're really invested in the team. Why don't you tell the millions and millions of listening Lions all about this study as soon as we come back from break (laughs) right here on the Lions Den. 